have artificial intelligence now being used to detect uh, cancer tumors. And actually, you have machines that are now better than the world's best radiologists at detecting certain types of cancer. And, and it's because they do it in a completely different way. And you have artificial intelligence being used for you know, a whole, whole variety of different things. Now, it can also be overhyped because has anybody here heard, has anybody here ever, um, ever heard of the Amazon test of artificial intelligence? This is a much simpler test. So the Amazon test is, you know, Amazon ships packages, right? So they, and packages are many different sizes, and you don't know which one you're going to pick up first, put on a belt, and you don't know which ones are going to fit and all that stuff, right? So they have, so Amazon has many, many people who are constantly looking at packages, putting them here, putting them back up, right? And basically the Amazon test is, can you develop a seeing, thinking robot that can take the place of a person sorting and picking out packages around Christmas time, around Chinese New Year's on Amazon. And every year it's a total failure. You know, they have these great videos online of a robot hand like going after the package and then dropping it on the floor and everything. Like, not, like MIT kids do this all the time. So, so you can, it's very funny because you have computers beating these brilliant strategists at a game, but they can't replace the minimum wage worker in a packing factory. Right, so that's one of the interesting things about uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, my my perspective on on artificial intelligence is, um, and I'm by no means smarter than anybody else, but I think in most industries you're probably approaching sort of a tipping point when this thing will become widespread and actually make an economic impact. And for most part, with what we can see and what we can touch. So that means you, you need full attention and everything like that. I think it would be a very different experience when you can do voice processing. So this is just one example. This is, there's about 12 different domains of artificial intelligence. This is just one.